Welcome back. It is Thursday, so that means author Allie is joining us for this week's Kid Lit Pick, and today it's all about Memorial Day. Allie, good afternoon. How are you doing today? Good afternoon, Taylor. I'm doing good. So I'm excited. You actually have two books for us today. Go ahead and talk about the one that you're holding up. So this week's Kid Lit Pick of the Week is 21 Steps, and it's by Jeff Gottesfeld and illustrated by Matt Tavares. So Matt Tavares is this award-winning illustrator. He has mm -hmm. great books. And this book is about the guards and the soldiers who guard at the tomb of the unknown soldier. Check oh, out wow. these illustrations. I know. Those illustrations okay. look lifelike. They look so real. Guard the tomb of the unknown soldier at the Arlington National Cemetery, and they protect it and they pay tribute to these fallen soldiers. And so the poetic text and the realistic illustrations, check this out. It's amazing. Oh, wow. That looks really amazing. realistic. And that provides a history lesson and reverence and dedication to the guards who pace in precise intervals guarding at every hour of the day. This is such a great one. Mm -hmm. What's the other one that you have? So this one is Andrew Higgins and the Boat That Landed Victory in World War II. And this is by local authors Nancy Rust and Carol Stubbs. And so in this book, it talks about the life of World War II. It helped them get to the shores to conquer the waves. And it was just magnificent. Yeah, this one also has really great um, illustrations too, Allie. A lot of really great books. What's your favorite part about both of these? I like the fact that in the back there are important dates, as you can see, mm -hmm. for readers to get to know and learn more about our history. And this one has a special message that, you know, sometimes it takes the imagination of just one person to make the world a better pay place. And it's about perseverance and, you know, overcoming adversity and persistence. I love both, both of these books. And really quickly, about 30 seconds, what age uh, ranges would you think that these books are best for? They're great for primary readers and even middle grade schoolers. It's, it's a great history lesson. The illustrations will keep the younger kids captive in reading. Mm -hmm. And then the, the text will help the middle graders learn more about these fascinating facts and things in history. Well, Allie, I think you knocked it out of the park with these Memorial Day books, both Truly amazing, honestly. I love the illustrations for both of them. Thank you so much for picking these books and sharing them with us today. Thank you, Taylor. If you guys at home want to learn more about both of these books that author Allie mentioned, head to our website, klaf.com. Before we go to break, though, let's check in with meteorologist Corey Smith.